Hey, yo, what up? Family and friends, yours truly, God's princess, tapping in, baby. It's time for this morning inspo. Let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you so much for being my accountability partner. It's coming from Hebrews 5, verse 7. All right, and it says, During the days of Jesus' life on earth, he offered up prayers and petitions with fervent cries and tears to the one who could save him from death. And he was heard because of his reverent submission. Mm. Now that was powerful. Now let's go ahead and break it down. Again, Hebrews 5 and 7. During the days of Jesus' life on earth, he offered up prayers and petitions. He offered up prayers, okay? Petitions, that's pretty much a request made for something desired. So Jesus offered up prayers and petitions, requests for things that he desired. Well, I know one of them prayers was, Father, can you take this cup away from me? He got in his flesh. I talked about that on yesterday. And then he said, but for this cause, I have to get back to this word, though with fervent cries. Now, I looked up the word fervent. It means having or showing great warmth or intensity of spirit, feeling enthusiasm. Jesus meant every word that he prayed. Remember, we talked about that during the week. We got to mean what we pray. So we got to mean what we say and speak to God from our heart so he can hear our prayers. He can move on our behalf. Come on, somebody. To the one who could save him from death. Who can save us from anything? Yeah, now we all know that we were born to die, but there are some things that we need God to save us from, whether that's financial ruin, whether that's from a bad relationship or a bad marriage <laughs> you see what i'm saying save us from ourselves because the inner me the enemy in me be the one that we have to really fight against it ain't always the people it's always us who could save him from death and he was heard because of his reverent submission see because he had faith in his words he offered up those prayers with intensity with fervency then god heard him because he moved the heart of god not just because he got in his emotions, because he believed in what he prayed for. And it says, and he was heard because of his reverent submission. Now let's look up the word reverent. Reverence means deeply respect. He went to God in a respectful way, with fervency, okay? With still emotion and intensity. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I come to you right now and I believe that in this leap of faith, you are going to give me the people resources. You are going to give me the financial resources. You are going to give me everything that I need because you are Jehovah Jireh, my provider. And I'm trusting you, Lord to rain down manna from heaven you were able to feed the israelites and give them uh, a clock you see what i'm saying we got to pray and see how i was able to incorporate word in my prayers because i know the word and god responds to his word come on somebody that's why we're doing this morning inspo so you can get in his word i help you break it down so you can apply it to your life all right so when you get in a fight and i ain't talking about no physical fight but a spiritual fight you can use that word because the word is the blade and you got to swing that doggone blade whenever we're in a situation all right whether it's good or bad. I hope that I said something that you will be ignited to pray fervently with intensity, with passion to move the heart of God so he can move his hand on your behalf. I love you. God loves you best. He hears your prayers. Hug yourself for me. Mwah.